Stop it. I got new stuff. First of all, thank you so much because we've actually blown past all of our goals for the uh, the Kickstarter immediately, which is great out of the gate. Thank you so much. We've uh, been discussing how to go forward with stretch goals to try and encourage things to keep growing. And the way that we decided to do it is, you know, postcards, because that's what we do around here. If you go over to the store, you'll see some of the prints that my sister's been doing. But these are drawings my sister uh, made for the game that we used to do, stickers that we have for for sale, this wasn't supposed to be a pitch for uh, selling stickers, but we're gonna turn these into nice white square postcards and uh, include them with your paperback at different levels. If you go over to the campaign, you'll see that I've added a stretch goals section there and it's based purely on how many backers we get. So the more backers we get, the more people will end up getting the postcards and I'm really, really excited to share those. It's been really fun. For those of you that are like, wow, you guys are uh, also low energy is because we haven't slept for a while because we've been putting so much work into this, so much delightful care. Uh, and also he's a dad. So this is Richard. Richard's doing the developmental edits on the book right now, uh, finishing up and getting ready to, you know, throw me down the well of my second and final draft, which I'm planning on having done by uh, the end of the year. Thought I'd bring him on just to introduce him because for those of you that don't know Richard or Gustav, his delightful little friend, who we'll talk about more here in a second. Yeah, he's making a really big difference. And so the two things that I thought I would ask were from a reader's perspective, what is the most impactful thing in the book that, or what stuck with you the most, I guess, out of this? Why, why would other people be interested as readers? Because don't take it from me, take it from somebody else. And then as an editor, uh, what are you most excited for? Or maybe what are you most concerned about uh, <laughs> when you get into it? Yeah, okay. Um, as a reader, I think having picked it up and read it, I mean, it's, it's in one way, it's kind of like reading your diary and getting to critique you on it, which is kind of fun. But, <laughs> um, but I think, you know, I've known you for, for three years, three years now, um, you know, followed your vlog and of course a lot of other people have followed your vlog and, and for me, I guess, um, just, just learning so much more about your backstory that I had no idea about or, you know, I'd heard bits and pieces about, you know, your time on Mercy ships and, and what you've done on those ships in Africa and, you know, some of the stories there, but, but how much, you know, when you went into that really not knowing what you're getting yourself into and, and, and the impact that had on you and the impact that that, that had on your writing as well mm -hmm. and how, you know, changed kind of the things you were writing about. And I guess also going back and seeing right from the earliest, you know, you, you talk almost, uh, you know, a little bit about your childhood and how much uh, stories and film and, and that was, was so deep grained, even as a primary school kid, you're making films and doing this sort of stuff, creating stories and telling stories. And just seeing how, uh, you know, from the editor's point of view, I think, mm -hmm. seeing those two threads of your life, of you of you trying to develop your storytelling, uh, to tell your stories, to get them out there, but at the same time trying to get by in the world and, and you know, the, the litany of jobs you, you've gone through to try and do what you're supposed to do, get yep. out there and, and, and be a responsible adult, but all the time trying to find a way to tell these stories. and and seeing how many ways you've, you've done that. So as a reader, that's, that's really interesting just because, you know, I think we're all, we all want to create more, we all want to do this, and so that's, that's really powerful. But as an editor as well, being able to take that story and, and really try and look at it really closely and say, how do, you know, how do they interact? How do the stories you're telling, how do they change based on your life experience? And, and how does your life experience, you know, how does the choices you make allow you to tell those stories? more effectively. Uh, it's, it's really interesting. Uh, I think you're so open about your experiences as you are on the vlog, but you go really even in more depth in the book. And um, yeah, I, it's been a real privilege to be led into that. And, and I know everyone who reads it's going to feel the same way. I'm glad that that's, I also like the fact that he thinks I'm a responsible adult. That's probably my favorite thing. I didn't say you were. I said you tried to be. I'm trying to be. Trying uh, if you, for those of you that are wondering what's going on next, uh, well, thank you, Richard, very much. I'm really excited to get jump, jumping. I'm really excited to jump back into it. I'm also excited to learn how to speak English again because apparently I've lost some level of capacity. I'm going to be throwing myself down the well of the second draft here as soon as, uh, well, basically by the time you see this, I'm already in it. So that is what's going on there, and then it's off to the races. You can see the timeline over on the Kickstarter campaign. If you haven't backed it yet and you're thinking about backing it, maybe you're seeing this video on YouTube because we'll probably upload it there too. Definitely, uh, please do back it. You might get a chance to have a Christmas card with Fancy Gustav down here who you can see popping up to say hello. Hey, buddy. We did a photo shoot out in uh, Place des Vosges, which is one of the fanciest places in Paris because he's a fancy looking dog, aren't you? And uh, the goal was to make a delightful, uh, you know, Christmas card to send out to everybody as a thank you, but also to actually send you something before the books go out like in June or May or whenever it is that they end up going out. So yeah, feel free to jump on those. Remember to check out the stretch goals on the main campaign page and tell your friends, tell your relatives, tell your enemies, tell everybody, try to get them to, you know, buy a copy of the book because we would like to get as many of them into as many hands as humanly possible. That's the update. Thanks for joining me on that. My pleasure. Thanks for joining us too, Gustav. 
Fitting goldfish. He, he, that's true. Kate's been uh, hawking goldfish at him this whole time. And it's his first day in the office. And so far, so good. No fires and uh, no, poops. no poops, which is really good. Anyways, thanks for backing the campaign so much. Really excited for everything that's to come. And uh, yeah, we'll see you, you know, here and on YouTube and everywhere else.